it's a no for me. Now my top five and more for this month of casting on audition songs uh, that I don't like and why. Let's start. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Levy, I'm a certified vocal coach, drama teacher, studio owner here in Singapore and owner of this amazing beautiful channel and I'm happy that you are clicking on this video. I hope that you subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell and if you're looking for singing lessons then please check out the info box and look at my website. Exactly, you guessed it, our all-time Kevin Costner, Whitney Houston favorite, I will always love you. The amount of times I have heard this song in American Idol or any kind of competition is just insane. Now the problem is if you are trying out the song, you should at least make it at the same standard that Whitney Houston is doing it or even a bit better. Now the problem is with the average person that cannot hit those notes and doesn't have her range is, yeah, it, they doesn't have her range, obviously. Now they underestimate the whole effort that they have to do uh, with those extremely high notes belting it powerfully along the way and so the song sometimes turns out to be a disaster. Make sure that you have a similar range like Whitney Houston if you're taking her version um, of I Will Always Love You. Also make sure that you make it a little bit better or have the similar standard that she has. Don't forget one important part, whenever you choose that song you will always be compared to her version. So. I will not love this song for this audition. The greatest showman or any kind of musical that is just right now online or in cinema and people are just so fast to pick up on all the greatest showmen or the currently Aladdin a musical that is out. Now the problem is with Never Enough or This Is Me or Come Alive is that if you go to a casting for The Voice, The Voice Kids, American Idol, X Factor, you most likely will compete with 100 other people that just choose Never Enough because it's brand new, it's out there, it's fresh. Well, not only is that song technically absolutely advanced, very hard to sing, but you can also, also imagine that if someone is taking a shot for that song, he's probably good at it. You are taking the risk of being forgotten pretty quickly because you just took a song that is fresh out there and most likely a lot of people are going to take that song. Now the chances that they're gonna memorize you is just very very low key. Now the most important part is that you have an individual song choice that can stand out, that fits you, your type of voice, your tessitura, the way you look, your personality. So make it really strategic if you choose a song for yourself to go for an audition. The same applies also to the Queen movie. Currently everyone here in Singapore is competing with Bohemian Rhapsody and the internet is full of these covers of Never Enough or a Bohemian Rhapsody and they are really 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 good. So you are in a very high competition and mostly that's your disadvantage at that moment. That's gonna be not enough for me. Now, I'm probably gonna get some hate because of that, but I think Ed Sheeran is not the best choice. And let me explain why. Hola, hola, hola. So, most of the time, Ed Sheeran is quite comfortable for the male voice, but in terms of dynamic, in terms of kicking off at some point along the song, you will have problems there. If you think about choosing Listen by Beyonce and then go for Ed Sheeran, you might want to go for Listen. Listen has so much more dynamic, different voice colors, different voice qualities. You go from, I don't know, crescendo de crescendo, from a high belt uh, to a really strong hat voice, whatsoever. The song just offers you many Many different choices as a singer. You don't have those choices by Ed Sheeran. These are cool songs in a group with a guitar, you know, very low key, but they just stay on one pitch also. There is no differences in big pitches. The shorts are very simple and plain, so don't really kicks off at some time. It's like five minutes, just one pitch. Also, I think 
they um, they just don't have that drive that you would like to have because in the end of the day you're selling yourself you're selling uh, your product your voice you want to stand out you want to transport sort of an energy and I think if you go for Ed Sheeran try to think about choosing songs that have a little bit more dynamic that make you stand out there's no fire for me here Another all-time not favorite one is, yes, 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 guys, you probably almost guessed it. My heart will go on. <laughs> also, another song that it has been oversung over the decades now, 20 decades to go, I think so. Now imagine singing a song that is like 20 decades oversung in all kind of competitions. Okay, I think all of the songs have been oversung, but I want to say with my heart will go on is the problems that we tackle here is you have you have the, the phrases, you have the chorus, you have the first line and chorus, and then you have that really difficult kick off in the end. So you have this kind of mid part where it goes, you're here, there's nothing I fear. Now the problem is that she's belting it, it all out, but most of the average people that come here in my vocal lesson that try out the song, they will have difficulties towards the end. So there's a big problem of songs that might sound good in the first First two minutes but then when they're supposed to kick off and show your higher range people have problems there now the deal is that way choose a song where you can show your sweet spot where you're comfortable with your range and where you not go beyond your range problems will be sounds good in the beginning and then you break into a thin hat voice where the song will just Get, you will just get lost there. It will just lose all of that impact, all of that climax. You want to belt in that song. Belting is your deal. You want to go for powerful notes. Make sure that you keep it all in your range where you can show that amazing belt of yours. It's a no for me too and I hope I could explain all of my reasons why I think you should be careful when choosing a song. There is a strategy uh, behind choosing a song. Just don't go plainly for something that you like because chances are that my, that song might not fit you, your voice type, um, your sweet spot, your range, your attitude, your personality, your storytelling, whatever. You know, you see that there's a lot of things. You want to make good and smart choices. You want to create dynamics you want to leave an impact you want to transport emotion and you want to make sure that uh, yeah that you have the right fit for it now be careful with your song choices if you're looking for some help for your casting or audition don't hesitate to write me and book a lesson with me via Skype and I hope that you enjoyed that new series of mine if you want to see every month a series of top five audition or musical songs casting songs that I don't like Leave it down in the comment section and let me know what was your worst casting audition song. <laughs> I see you in my next video. Don't forget to watch now the two upcoming videos.